the idea of a three-man militia is to uh, improve the family and improve the quality of your friends and improve the quality of the community. As a three-man, as a member of a three-man militia, the idea isn't to die for your beliefs. There are times and circumstances which may arise where you may have to kill for your moral beliefs. But the, it's set up, that's what I'm saying, it's set up like a guerrilla type uh, unit. Uh, the idea is not to die. Uh, a matter of fact, um, hundreds of years ago, when they had these type of systems set up, uh, the, the other members, if they were to die, then their family would go under your protection. Uh, in other words, your family just doubled. <laughs> so the idea is not to die. Now military, uh, this is one of the things I didn't like about the military, and this is one of the things I, uh, because like I say, the military doesn't work on uh, morals. So they realize when they get into uh, any operation that they go into, any, I mean, even if it's a non-combative role, they know and understand that so many are going to get killed and so many are going to get injured. They just, they have the numbers already figured out. All these generals, they know when they go into any kind of an area, they know there's going to be a certain percentage are going to die. A certain percentage are going to get screwed up. I mean, they're going to be casualties. They know it, they realize it, and they plan on it. And like I say, I was never a general. I was the one that was going to be on that percentage that's going to die or become screwed up. And uh, that's the part that I didn't like about uh, the military. Uh, they, they work us as, as a number. We're just one of so many. And, but as the three-man militia, no. Each person is important. Each person has their responsibilities. And like I say, you don't even know these other three-man militias unless, you know, you've been learning, you know, uh, gardening, learning first aid, learning leather craft, learning uh, auto theft, <laughs> from all these different uh, uh, militias you wouldn't even know who they are. But because you were doing that, all you know is they're good on gardening. <laughs> you don't know if they're in the weapons or not. Now, after the shit hits the fan, and then you're gonna look around at these other militias, and you're gonna say, I know you. <laughs> you're a gardener. <laughs> and then, yes, they're a gardener. But they're also snipers. <laughs> but it wasn't any of your business before. Now you know what they are because we're come together. This is the, the videos that I made about uh, one day after the shit hits the fan or a week after shit hits the fan or, you know, uh, communities pulling together and stuff. You know, you're not going to know who these people are that are into weapons and stuff like that until that time comes. And then you are going to be thankful. You're going to know them already. And then it'll be easier for you to go in and say, well, okay, uh, today I'm going to go and do some gardening. Uh, let me help these gardening people. I remember I was gardening with them before, so I know what they're doing. I can go help them. So then you can go help them do their gardening. So uh, this is what I'm saying. We are working together at a common goal. And we're using good morals 
to hold ourselves together. And those goals or those morals will give us strength to do what we have to do. And when you're working as a guerrilla unit, you definitely will need it. And if it's a shit hit the fan type situation, you will be working as a guerrilla unit. You will be having your sniper teams going out and stuff like this. And like I say, they're, they're, they don't want to make contact. And a lot of this stuff, it's contact is what we're trying to avoid. Uh, the only time that's an exception is, like I say, when we go into uh, uh, defending our area. And then when we're defending our area, well, then that's, and we're set up to make the contact and to live through the com uh, contact. If you've seen my videos on how to shoot, the, the shooting, the, the shooting drills you need to be going through, this is how come. Uh, you're, your uh, gunfights uh, will last three, no more than five seconds, and then they stop. And I've made videos talking about how to do it, what to do, and how you're going to make it happen. And, uh, uh, and the, the reason is we're trying, to, like I say, we don't want to get killed. We don't want to get hurt. Their job is to die and get hurt. We are not. We have a family to take care of. So we have to stay safe. That doesn't mean we're chicken shits. That means we have good tactics that are workable. And that's exactly what everything that I have and I talk about is. I say about the only ones that I know of that are really in complete danger is the meet and greet teams. They are in danger. Uh, the next would be the sniper teams, uh, the snipers that, that are going out and patrolling and, and checking stuff out and stuff like that. They will be in danger. Uh, but other than that, uh, the, everybody else will all be pretty much working together. We'll have uh, the tactics, we'll have our areas situated where we can defend it. Uh, now, when, it, when another way to um, uh, the militias to self-destruct will be to self-destruct and that is when they don't use morals as a guideline uh, because the militia is not under any kind of law they don't work under any kind of uh, federal state or, or anybody's laws no man-made laws because anything man-made will become corrupt so that's why uh, you do it in the way of using morals to get going. Like I say, I have seen people get killed and uh, be kidnapped and all this stuff in the name of war when really what they wanted was their business, wanted their house, wanted, you know, wanted something like that. Dude, they wanted to get rid of them some way or another. So they snitch on them for that kind of a reason. And uh, this is why uh, the three-man militia has to work on morals. You've heard me talk about it. Uh, there's, there's, I can do all the stuff that I do, but like I say, I have to go through the other two that are with me. And I have to make sure they understand what I'm talking about. And if, is it moral? What I'm going to do, is it going to be moral or not? And by now you've learned, moral doesn't necessarily mean turn the other cheek. Moral is not a sign of weakness. It's the opposite. Being moral, having moral strength, means you have strength. You have strength to stand up, not only to your set for yourself, but for the people around you. So the moral responsibilities have got to be shared with the other two. They have to understand what's going on. I've talked about it in the way of leadership. It's the same thing. Uh, okay, I'm old, but it's the same thing. I've got to talk to the ones, the leaders that are younger, you know, 20, 30 years old. They have to use their morals to do the nasty stuff that they're gonna be doing. They have to understand how their morals 
are in place when they do this stuff. When you don't use morals as the backbone of your uh, militia, you have your three-man militia. There's another three, another three, another three. All of them need morals to work by. When you see another three are not doing something morally proper, you need to confront them and find out what's the story. They have to be able to relate the, the moral reason for doing this. I say, that's why I say, our morals will be put to the test. Okay, what happens when you have a militia and they do not run on morals, they are not guided by morals, you have a gang. Uh, that's why you don't see me promoting these big fancy militias and all this kind of stuff is because uh, they all, all these people and their militias are taking orders. In our three-man militias, we don't take orders. We do what we have to do. We do what we have to do amongst our three, and then when you have a three, 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 all these threes work together because we have to do this stuff. A good example is what I was talking about in, uh, after the shit hits the fan and you're in my community, you will have work to do. Everybody's going to be doing something. We all have responsibilities. And so, in other words, we all are going to be sharing into everything. It's just a temporary thing on this type of a situation. And, uh, and I say the militias are going to be moving around doing different chores also. And so, uh, we have a moral responsibility. And sometimes it takes others to make us, to, or not only make us, but to, to give us the strength to stand up for our morals. That is why we have the three-man militia. So without the morals, you don't have a three-man militia. This is Mike. No stress Mike.com.